Okay, so the zero of your ruler here is on the origin line, and it looks like our solvent front is about five centimeters up. So please use this to uh, calculate the RF values for all the spots that you see on this TLC plate. Okay, students, so uh, we are dealing with the evaporating of the solvents here, and so I have all of my uh, samples here in the sand bath, and we're boiling away the liquid. This time we aren't going to use boiling chips, though, because our goal here is to obtain only the solid, so uh, we're going to avoid boiling chips. And uh, what I have here in my hand is a pipette that's connected to a, a, a 2D, and it's connected to our air nozzle. So I'm going to go ahead and blow a little air over the samples here just to help them evaporate a little quicker as they are boiling, and that way we are able to evaporate away all of the ethyl acetate solvent that is in there. Okay, so this is going to take a little bit, but I'm going to ask Lee to kind of put the camera over the samples there so you guys can see, have a little bit of a visual look at how much sample is in each uh, scintillation vial there, and uh, how we are getting these guys to evaporate. So It's a very, very small amount of air coming through the test tube there. All right, we'll be back in just a few moments once we get these samples evaporated. Okay, students, so we have our samples here. We have evaporated all three samples, and I just want to show you what they look like. So I'm going to go ahead and place them on top of this white sheet of paper here. And so if you see, our naphthalene here is uh, somewhat of a dark solid. And then we have our benzoic acid, which is a whitish solid. All right, it's got a slight tint to it. And then we have our 4-methoxyaniline, which is also a dark solid. All right, so uh, these three samples have been, uh, we have the data here for you. So just to highlight, the mixture contained 45 milligrams of each of these solids. And here I, I listed that for you as, you know, 0 0.045 grams. Uh, and so our uh, masses of the empty vial is provided for you, along with the mass of the compound plus the vial. Uh, please do the appropriate mathematics to calculate the mass of solid that we have isolated for this experiment. This has been experiment six, isolation of acids, bases, and neutral compounds.